Hello everyone. We are here with Joy Ruffin and she has been a member of the Biz Initiation and she is amazing. She's going to share a little bit about her business, a little bit about what she learned from this program and then she's going to share with us a little bit more about what she does. So Joy, tell us a little bit about what you've gained from this program. Well, 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 where do I start? Let me say that the Admiration Society did all right back at you because I have received more from this program than any other program that I've been involved with. Knowing that success was something that you work for and towards and always being successful in the corporate business world, starting out in the fashion industry, I knew and I always had this longing that there was more. And it was only after retiring and doing several different programs and then meeting by accident coming across, yet I don't believe there are any accidents in life. Your program that I signed up for, was I really able to know for sure, because I had this hunger inside to do this, that this was my calling and this is what I was supposed to do. And that is image consulting and public speaking combined. Because the beauty of the female, the ladies, that word that people want to put on the back burner, back burner, I say, no, 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 no. We need more ladies. And ladies not in the Edwardian day, but ladies of today. Femininity and sexuality is what we're all about, but we need more women who take pride in being a word, another word that women don't like, classy, elegant, sophisticated ladies, because that's what a real man is looking for. So once I connected with you, and went through the home human design program, I knew that as far as speaking and getting out and sharing with other young corporate business women, because they are the next generation for what it means to parent and to raise children and to have young girls grow up to be young ladies and to have high regard and respect for themselves. That's what I want to do and that's what I'm going to be about doing. So I'm starting a pilot program. I'm going to invite your audience, if they're interested, to send in their names. You'll put my information at the bottom. And then I'm going to be selecting five women who will get this five-week program for free. And the only request that is asked is that after the show, they become testimonials for me, as I'm doing for you. And for me, it's very easy to do this for you, Ra uh, Raquel, because you went to the core of where I knew I needed and wanted to go, but hesitated for numerous reasons. So with your help and your guidance and your love and assistance, I'm ready. And I'm awesome. excited. That's <laughs> awesome. Yes. So Joy, I know we discovered that you are a manifesting generator. Yes. And so tell us a little bit about what you struggled with before and what this information has done for you to really embody the power of that manifesting generator force? Great, great question. So timely for me because after reading and discovering with you what a manifesting generator is all about, it came to me, yes, I'm busy, busy, busy. I'm bouncing here, I'm going there. I'm involved with several different things. And it wasn't a matter of not completing, but it was a matter of just being busy and not tuning in to that inner core and getting frustrated and, and upset and not tuning in and getting response back to me for what was right and what was timely. So I've learned to calm myself down, to be patient, to map out this program that I'm working on, which is going to be absolutely dynamic and exciting for the people who are going to be a part of it and me as well. But I'm learning to be more patient with me, that I have many gifts, but the mainstay and the pivotal point of that gift is to be out and to be able to speak and to listen and exchange with people the knowing that they really are wanting. And one of the things I want to do is combine what you're doing with a lot of the people that I'll be connecting with, because I think being a happy, happy senior and at this late stage in life for me, it's never too late to find out what is the core of why we're here and what we're to do while we're here. So being a manifesting generator, 
initially when I first read it, I said, no, 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 no. But then when I started to think about it and to analyze and to get down to the truth of me, the knowing of me, I said, yes, it's time to calm down, to take it slow, to absorb and take in everything, and then to decide on what I want to use, when, where, and how. And to be very mindful about how I present to people because you have to let people know what you're about and then wait till they get back to you with yay or nay. Right, right. Yeah, and also, you know, you've really learned about being emotional and how that sort of guide your life and guide your business. And so share a little bit about that journey as well, how you found out during this program to use your emotions and, you know, and interestingly enough, as a deciding factor in business, you know, how did you learn how to use that to really map out, you know, your, your next level of business? What was that process for you? That was the most difficult process. That was more difficult for me than the busy, 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 bouncing, getting involved, doing several different things at the same time and all of that. Because of my background, I come from a family that was separated for me at a young age. And my mother was not a very demonstrative person. So we, my sister and I, it was just the two of us. I learned to hold everything in. So to be expressive in my emoting was never easy for me. It's not that I didn't feel, it's not that I didn't sense, but to be demonstrative and huggy and kissy and blowing kisses and hugging, that was just never me. And truth be told, it's not going to be most likely ever me. But yet, what I'm able to recognize and see now, as long as I'm eyeball to eyeball with someone and they can see my expression and feel my concern and my compassion, that is enough. Yes. So that's what I'm learning and still working with right here and now. Yes. Yeah, it's really just a matter of, you know, finding the how things feel as your GPS system. You mm -hmm. know, if it feels good for you, it's the right path. And if it doesn't, it's not. You know, that's the beautiful thing about learning about being an emotional manifesting generator. And we also see that joy has this incredible um, power of communication with her um, channel of leadership. And it's been really amazing to watch this flowering of confidence in who you are and really learning that, you know, you're here to lead. Yes. And that's exciting. Very exciting and very difficult for me initially because there is a, a qualifier with the leader because I know now without question that I am a leader, but I choose not to be the type of leader that wants to have people model everything that I'm about and what right. I say. I want to be the type of leader that supports others to become the best leaders that they're here to be, to stand in their power and their greatness, not mine, not Raquel's, but their own. Right. And giving them as many tips and tools as I can so that they're able to do that. I love what you said about the GPS system because that is something that we all have. It's innate to each and every one of us. And my purpose now is to support people in developing their own sense of leadership because we are all leaders. It's a matter of learning what type of leadership we give and what type of leadership we are offering so that the individual can stand on their own without being a model for what your leadership is all about. In other words, we, we're not looking for robots. We're looking to build people to be all that they can be. Tried expression, but it's true in the best that they can be in their role of leadership. And that's where I want to head. That's where I'm going. Yes. That's awesome. So one of the things that was um, that Joy is launching that she's working on is this signature program, which is about you know um, finding helping women to find their signature style. And so this is an opportunity. Um, you know, I highly recommend if this is something that you feel 
excited about. We'll give you an opportunity to connect with Joy. Do you want to share a little bit about that? Well, it's really, it's about discovering your own signature style and stand. And that's the program that I'm putting together. And everybody needs their own signature style and stand. The beauty of this is that this is just the beginning of one's leadership because what you are on the inside should be projected on the outside. And to be able to get your own signature style means that it cannot be copied. People might take a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but it means that when you walk into a room that you show up standing in your power and your greatness without having to speak a word. And that you can acquire once you know your body shape, your style, what you prefer, the colors that are best for you, fit, and all the other things that go into that equation, the accessories and all. So what we'll be doing is helping people, women, to discover and find that out for themselves so that their signature and style becomes their stamp and is indigenous to their nature not someone else's. Right. The, the title that I'm giving this is Leading Ladies because I'm from the old Hollywood school, but leading ladies in the real world, not Hollywood. Not sexuality and femininity that's projected there. We're gonna be talking about leadership, femininity and sexuality in the real world. And the timing could not be better, yes? Perfect, just yes. perfect. Yes. And so if you could do an overall quote of your experience working together and being part of the business initiation, what what would what would you say? I would say that I have found uh, a new home and a new family that I will always be connected and promoting what I have myself discovered here and want to share with many, many, many other women. And I don't want to be this want this to be exclusively for women right. because men are welcome and invited as well. But in reality, we do rock, we do rule. But those who are real leaders and true know that you need your male companion who is your equal in every sense of the word. So the bottom line is that for me, it's home. I felt that initially from our first meeting, you are just a bottle of love and caring and it shows. And I'm just happy that, that I, but, but see, I don't believe in accidents. I think we were destined and meant to meet. Some other people might say, I don't believe in that. I don't accept that. Well, that's okay. That's all right. But I know that from here on, everywhere I go and everywhere that I'm promoting and speaking, I will speak to human design and what you're doing and promote you in every way that I can. Thank you so much, Joy. It's been a total honor and a joy to work with you. And... I love watching your flowering. So this is going to be really fun to watch as this, you know, awakens more and more. So thank you with, for sharing with everyone your experience and what you have coming up. Thank you. Thank you. I'm more than grateful. Thank you so much. I look forward to continuing in every way that we can. Yes. We have a lot of amazing, <laughs> amazing new discoveries to make. This is just the beginning. I know, I know, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Happy to be a part of it. Thank all you. All right, everybody. thank you all for listening in. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So grateful.